is best when people work at the grassroots, when they talk neighbor to neighbor, friend to friend, community to community. We must build a new Iowa that encourages entrepreneurship from within and development from afar. We must build a new Iowa that guarantees the best education for all, from preschool to college and beyond. What made you think that you wanted to run for governor? Well, actually, it's, uh, it's about you folks. You know, I've got two sons, and I'm really proud of my two sons, and they've had an opportunity to grow up and, and really are going to amount to something, and I wanted to make sure that everybody's children had the same chance my kids had. We must build a new Iowa that has the resources and the will to take care of the needy and the ill. The first step in the process is to make sure that, that kids are insured. when he was mayor of Mount Pleasant. When it came time to start getting lined up for the 1998 gubernatorial race and we were looking at the candidates, I was down here at the Capitol and I walked up to him and introduced myself and I said I'd like to get together with you and visit about your interest in running for governor. He was an underdog. Nobody gave him much of a chance. Um, to be elected governor. I mean, you know, Tom Vilsack, who is he? I'm Tom Vilsack, and I fought in the Iowa Senate to protect the rights of HMO patients to the care they need and to a choice of doctors. But I think those of us who really supported him early really saw that he was someone who really believed in what he stood for and would fight. What impressed me is when he was first running for governor, he came up to my little lodge and we discussed agriculture and rural issues. In addition to just feeding it to livestock, you know, there are ways that you can take corn and soybeans and you can convert it into uh, industrial products, which really creates right. a market for, for those commodities. Governor Vilsack came to my home and asked me if I would consider supporting him. Just by laying out a plan that he thought would be fair and equitable to everybody and um, talking to me about economic development and probably changing the face of, un of uh, employment in the state so that we could have more Latinos employed. I can remember standing on the floor of the Democratic Convention in 1998 and word leaked down that um, Sally Peterson was going to be the running mate. And the first question we all asked was, who is Sally Peterson? We should be thinking about uh, the opportunities that America offers for people from other countries. That's part of our heritage too, and that's part of Iowa's heritage. The good news is, and the answer is, she's terrific. She's both classy, but she's also compassionate. The register poll had Lightfoot ahead of Vilsack by 20 percentage points in September. Well, you must be very pleased with these new numbers. Well, we are. We've been saying all along that we uh, are getting momentum and we have the momentum in this race and uh, those numbers prove it. I remember talking to one of my friends and she was working hard for, uh, for a candidate and she said, so how's it going? And I said, um, Tom Vilsack's going to win this election. I really believe that. Nobody else thinks he's going to do it. At least the, the, the pundits don't. There's a, a fellow by the name of Harry Bookie, and Harry and I were talking about this race uh, not too long ago, and he says, you know, you're pretty tough on your supporters. You're never heading till the last day. <laughs> he 
said, watch the Iowa race, and if Tom Vilsack wins this, there's still hope for this country, that people really are going to elect people that can make a difference in individual lives. How did he do it? How did this Democrat break the Republican lock on the Iowa State House? I think uh, Jim uh, was lulled into a false sense of security by the polls. Um, uh, Bernie, I've never been ahead in a poll and I've never lost a race. You took a line from Winston Churchill, never give up, right. never give up. Why that line? And I wanted to make sure that Iowans, uh, particularly Iowa Democrats who had not won in 30 years, uh, would not be discouraged by the polls. Uh, and I wanted to encourage them not to give up because I was convinced that when our message punched through that we would get the moderate vote, that we would keep our base and we would win. That was really a um, uh, glowing moment, we'll say, because I had been voting since I was 18 and since I've lived here since I was six years old. All I've seen was Republican parties. And it was just so nice not to lose. <laughs>